V-Ray, Corona, Octane and Arnold users will be delighted that one of the most requested features for Forest Pack is now a reality. That's right, Forest Pack 7 can now scatter non-geometric objects, including lights. To use this feature, there's really no need to learn anything new. You just add a light to Forest Pack's item list in the usual way, just as though it were geometry. You can now scatter it using any and all of Forest Pack's many distribution modes. For example, you could use Spline Mode to scatter lights along a spline to create festoon lighting. You could use Map Based Distribution, for example with a spline to create a ceiling area to quickly add lights. If you want to change the spacing, you can easily edit the Forest Pack item at any point, making it far more flexible than placing lights by hand. Perhaps you've received a file with markers where lights are to be added. You can easily use Forest Pack's Reference Mode to attach lights to them. And remember, if the marker moves, the light moves too. Finally, you can even use PFlow to place lights, which opens up this feature to a whole new host of uses. So now that we can scatter lights, there are a few things that are worth knowing. First up is a reminder that Forest Pack's able to scatter groups, and from Forest Pack 7 onwards, these can include mixed groups like this one that includes both lights and geometry. This is great for scattering things like lamp posts, light fittings, and that kind of thing. To pick these from the scene, You've got to do it by clicking the Add Multiple button and picking the group name. A second note, if you're a Corona user, you'll be pleased to know that Forest Color can be used to randomize the tint and intensity of lights simply by adding it to the Lights Map input. In V-Way this works too, but currently only the Geometry Light Type supports this feature. Another bonus for Corona users is the ability to use its powerful Light Mix features to adjust lights during and after render, even on lights scattered with Forest Pack. If you're a V-Way user, you can still use the same feature, but currently you have to instantiate the lights using Forest Tools first. We hope you enjoy this innovative new feature, and we look forward to seeing the impressive renders our users make with it. Forest Pack 7 is available now. Find out more on the i2 Software website.